there's not enough resources for any of this to work, quite frankly. Recovery advocates say the state does not have enough treatment resources to keep people out of jail ahead of drug criminalization, which starts Sunday, raising some concerns about Multnomah County's ability to run an effective deflection plan. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for K2 News at 11 o'clock tonight. I'm Deborah Knapp. The new law taking place Sunday will give counties the option to deflect substance users away from the criminal justice system and into treatment. K2's Thumbi Varma joins us from outside a county deflection center. So Thumbi, what do we know about how ready the county really is? Well, Deb, this deflection center is not going to be open on September 1st, though Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega-Peterson has assured the community that there will be mobile providers for deflection, though advocates are skeptical. We're just days away from a new law that gives counties the power to deflect substance users away from the criminal justice system and into treatment. Though the question on the minds of many in the recovery community is, how is this even going to be possible? What we need is more medical detox. We need more housing. We need more uh, outpatient. We need more inpatient treatment. We need more wraparound services in general. Um, without that, it doesn't matter what your deflection program looks like because we have nowhere to deflect them to. Tara Hurst is the executive director of Health Justice Recovery Alliance. She's concerned that a lack of resources could mean jail time for substance users in Multnomah County and beyond. She's not the only person in the recovery community to share these views. We are lacking treatment beds, we're lacking housing beds, uh, and, and we're lacking staff in order to expand. Uh, these services. We took these concerns of these advocates to Multnomah County Commissioner Sharon Myron. They're saying there's not enough resources to do any de kind of deflection here in the county. Would you agree with that? And if so, what happens next? I completely agree. And in fact, I, I, I mean, I work with, I work with people in recovery. I work with people who are addicted as an ER doctor. Um, doing street medicine with people living unsheltered. Uh, I know there's no services for people. In response to the criticisms about the county lacking a plan, Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson spoke out at a press conference on July 31st. We are building a deflection system that includes mobile outreach, leverages peer support, and finally creates a drop-off center. Vega Peterson also adding that keeping people out of jail and into treatment is going to make the community stronger. For an extended ver version of our story, please head on to K2.com. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Thunvi Verma, K2 News. Okay, Thunvi, thank you.